Hey everyone. <laughs> I want to start off our Philippines series by talking about one of the most beautiful places we visited on our trip and I think one of the most beautiful places I've ever visited. The Batad and the Benue rice terraces are a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Specifically the Batad rice terraces, the Benue ones are as beautiful and amazing However, the UNESCO heritage did not recognize them because there were too many modern buildings. That doesn't mean you shouldn't go visit them. Your base of operations, if you are going to visit any of the rice terraces in Northern Luzon, is Benue. And that's where the bus is gonna drop you off. And we're gonna explain that all today. So let's get started. So we did a day trip and that's what we're gonna to explain today. It is possible to do a multi-day excursion there and if you want to do that, we recommend researching online and finding a tour group to go with. And that's going to be your easiest route. But if you're interested in a day trip, it is entirely possible to do. And this is how you do it. Your point of entry to the Benue is going to be most likely Manila or Clark Airport. From there, you're going to need to take a bus. It's a 10 hour bus ride from downtown Manila to Benue. There's two bus companies. You can take the Florida bus company or the Onahami bus company. Now, Onahami is about 15 minutes from Metro Manila. Really close and it's accessible by public transit in Metro Manila if you want to take that route. Otherwise, you can easily take a cab from the airport. Budget option though is to take the public transit there and walk about 10 minutes from the station. So we took the Onahami route from downtown Manila. There are three buses that leave each day and three buses that return each day. Those buses start leaving at around seven o'clock and the last bus leaves at 10 p.m. There is one more, it's a fourth bus that leaves at 9.30, which is the one we happen to take. That one does not go to Benue. That one goes to the town of Ifagio, which is just before Benue. Don't take that bus it will not get you to Benue. <laughs> Instead, take one of the three buses that go to Benue. However, if you are in our case and you did get stuck and you went on that bus to the wrong city, the people at Onahami are very nice and very helpful and they let us get on the next bus once we got there. So we waited for about an hour outside in a small town in the Philippines in the middle of the island. And we got on the next bus and we arrived there at 6 a.m. And you're going to typically arrive between 5.30, 6 and 6.30 a.m. And they're going to drop you outside of the city of Benue or town of Benue. And they do that for one pretty big reason is they control where you go in after. And if you have a tour group beforehand, that tour group guy is going to be sitting there with a sign just like at the airport and you go to him and you're good to go. But if you go there without a tour, and if you're planning on doing a day trip, they're gonna say, hey, there's a free jeepney here. You can take it in with us. Go, take it in. It's gonna take you into the downtown Benue, and it's gonna drop you at a breakfast place. And at that breakfast place, you can eat breakfast there, and the tour guides, or the tour groups, are gonna offer you deals on group packages. Now, don't feel obliged to take this, because this is not the tour office. The tour office is actually up the road from there. And if you want to go check out the tour office first, get some competing prices, that's a good idea. Leave this restaurant, take a left and go up the road and you're good. There's going to have a tour office there where you can ask questions and figure out anything else you need and find a good deal. Now we do recommend taking a tour group. And this is a bit unusual for Nomad Bears. We usually tend to do stuff ourselves and try to be the independent travelers. But Benue and Batad is a pretty big area. And once you get to Batad, you kind of have to have a tour guide show you around, help you walk through the rice paddies. So getting a tour guide is a good idea beforehand because they're gonna offer you a jeepney or tricycle to help you move around. And they're going to stop off at all the beautiful photo sites and get you all the way to Batad and pay the environmental free included. At the restaurant, uh, the tour guides are going to show you the prices and everything and give you a layout for the day and the layout, the typical itinerary for the Batad Benue rice terraces we found is you go up to the ben Benue lookout point 
come back, follow, take a jeepney, head to Bataan. You get a look out at two of the other major rice terraces in the area, which are both the UNESCO heritage ones. And then you go up the saddle, up the saddle point to the Batad rice terraces, do a hike in there and end up in Batad where you can hike around and end in the waterfall. And you have a guide along the way to help you out, show you around, ask questions and all that. So it's a great package to go with. That entire price, we are originally quoted at 3,000 per person. And we found, we thought that was pretty much. 3,000 pesos was pretty significant. That was our food budget for the entire trip. And we were able to negotiate that down to 2,000 per person. But we heard from another group that they had been originally quoted at 1,500 per person. So we think that it's, you can definitely be able to negotiate that down to around 1,500 per person. Um, it might depend on how large your group is and who's coming along. So do look for other people there to go with and other one day trippers to the Benue Batad rice terraces. If you search Onahami bus on Google, you'll find the website and we'll link it down in the description down below too if you're planning on taking the trip and they have a way to book online so you don't have to worry at all about it. Now you do need to have a paper copy of the ticket because you will need to exchange the ticket for your actual tickets when you get on the bus. One last note, the bus is cold. It is very, very, very cold. So bring a blanket. You might not use this blanket at any other point in the Philippines trip, but bring a blanket because the bus is cold and they just blast the AC. That's all for Benue. Next week, we are going to talk about the island of Palawan. And we are very excited. We had a great time there as well. So stay tuned for that and stay tuned for all the great content coming from Nomad Bears this week. Have a great day. Bye.